Hey guys, it's Mo Peppers here with the uh, ooh purple UFO tasting. She's a pretty pepper. She is definitely a pretty pepper. Look at that. All purple. Ooh, she kind of look like a UFO if you turn her upside down, you know. Okay, I'm doing too much. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Um, here goes this pepper tasting. Mm. Okay, so mm. she's a she's a thin wall pepper. I guess I should have cut her open so you guys could get a look at her, but you know what the heck? Let's tear her. Mm. All right, this is what she looks like. All right, the taste is. She has um There's no fire yet. She must be She must be too young. I ate everything except for the seeds. Oops, dropped out. All right, so she's a thin wall pepper. There's no heat, so she's too young. Just, just a, it's not even enough heat to even talk about. Um, the taste is nice. It's not sweet. It's not floral either, at least not now. At best. It tastes like um, a flat she tastes like a um, a flat bell pepper with just just about a not even a good brush of heat on the top so she's she's not ready yet she's she's still too young <clears throat> okay well I've went this far so Actually, I have a couple other peppers. I have this one pepper um, I've been waiting on. This is one of my bird's eye peppers. And as you can see, she just beginning to turn. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm just not getting a little heat from that purple UFO. It's nice. It's at the back of my, uh, at the back of the bottom of my lip, bottom lip. Uh, she's slowly rising across the middle of the tongue. Right now, she might be, maybe a jalapeno, maybe. But she not, I mean, you know, she she's not acting up. She's nice. It's a mellow heat. She just laying there, chilling. So, uh, this up the Scoville's. Here we go with the bird's eye. Oh goodness. This one's she is thick, thick. <clears throat> oh yeah. She ain't wasting much time. Here she comes. Not real hot though. I'm trying to give you guys a little looky inside. Oh, she is definitely seedy. Ooh, got them flinging everywhere. Alright. She's definitely seedy. Shot. 
There you go. But she's not that hot as well. So we're a little early on her. We're going to have to give her time to um, get a little hot. But that's okay. Yep, that's right. Mo Peppers got Mo Peppers. All right, this is a yellow fushimi. Now, the reason I pulled up because she was up against the side and she got a little uh, rough spot on her. So, you know, had to pull her. But I am willing to taste her because she is so pretty. Ooh, she got a little, ooh, okay. I'm noticing new things. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but right there. Can you see that little knot on top? It's getting a little knotty. They got, got she has knots on it. See that? But anyway, let's not play around. Let's do what we came here to do. Let's taste this pepper. Let me open her up for you. There she is. She has a very long stem. Pistol in the middle. Look at that. Look at that. She got plenty of peppers. She's a medium wall. I wouldn't call that real thin. See? I wouldn't call that real thin. So, the only thing left to do is break off the rub part and go for the middle of the pepper where the heat begins. Here we go. <clears throat> oh yeah. Here she comes. Mmm. All right, fruity. I like the walls. They're not very thin. They're medium wall. The heat 